type of assistance with. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you guys um, so you can see. Um, actually, how I got started with like being really good at real estate on the realtor side was actually through door knocking. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Every Monday for the month of May, for uh, my realtors and members, I've been doing just like early morning motivation to get them started on things on the real estate side. So I know I'm always discussing investing, um, but this past May, every Monday, we've been doing um, things differently and talking about how to be a successful realtor. And today, the topic for today is door knocking, how to door knock um, because y'all being shy in this business will take you out of getting paid and you don't want to miss a commission check just from being shy and not knowing how to get out there everybody can't get leads through referrals some people don't know people who um, are in, in real estate or are ready to buy a home so sometimes they have to get out there and do a little bit of footwork and I was young getting into real estate so that's really what I had to do um, as far as getting deals and everything so that's a little bit about door knocking um, let's talk about why you should door knock okay so the main reason why you should do it is because a lot of people are not doing door knocking has anybody ever did door knocking before um, and let me know how it went if you've done door knocking as an agent let me know how it is. People are lazy. People don't want to do it because they don't want to get out and they don't want to walk the neighborhood. But honestly, you guys, once you figure out a neighborhood, it only takes you 30 minutes to an hour of walking. Okay? It only takes you an hour at the max, depending on the neighborhood that you that you choose. And you choose a neighborhood that you can handle, that you can manage, because the idea is that you wanna to get to know the entire subdivision. So if you're only ready to handle 50 homes, then only do 50 homes. Don't try to do a subdivision of 100, because then when you get somebody, a realtor listing a property, you're gonna feel like your time is wasted, or you're gonna feel discouraged. But it really takes at least two to four months for them to warm up to you, for you to get the lead, take your kids with you. When I used to go door knocking, I would always take my son. He would ride his bike. I would either drop something in the mailbox. I'll leave it on the door. I'll go to the um, front door. If I do go to the front door, I would door knock. But we're going to get into that. But the main, the main reason to door knock is because a lot of realtors are not doing it. A lot of realtors are lazy. They don't want to do it. They don't want to put in the time to do it. Um, so that's one of the reasons to door knock. Make sure when you are door knocking those, a few things that you want to consider. You want to make sure you love the neighborhood. You want to make sure that's a neighborhood where you can see yourself um, getting paid. So, you know, in real estate, you determine your paycheck. So if the home is valued at 300k you know that's a eight thousand dollar paycheck so you have to figure out how much are you worth you know how much how much can you handle this area is the homes are the homes too big are you not educated on the comps um is it an open house in your firm that you can probably host but you must love the area you got to stalk the neighborhood get to know how much did the sellers pay what price did they did they do cash did they do conventional did they do va you can start marketing to them for va information sending out va newsletters or sending them you just want to make sure when you are door knocking that you know the house that you're door knocking because if you target a property that is new that they just purchased it doesn't mean that you can't still market to them but you want to know how to market to them if it's a new property and they just purchased it let's say last year they might not be ready to move yet but 
they might not like their realtor. They probably didn't like how their realtor did business or maybe their realtor didn't get them the, the correct grant. So now you can re, you can send your information to them and they can refer it or pass it to somebody else. So um, when you are door knocking, definitely check the MLS to make sure that you know how they purchased it, when they purchased it, so that you know how to effectively market to them um my very first door knocking came from a property that was across the street from me i ended up selling their property and then i ended up being their buyer's agent so i ended up getting like ten thousand dollars from one couple within two months because i sold their property it took like a month and a half then we found their other property we closed that same day so i was able to get that much amount of money within that short time frame because they needed a new house um the area that i did door knock i ended up getting six properties in that community within it was like maybe maybe four maybe four to six months um and even after i moved away from that area i still got people who would call me to you know confirm and what i would do is I would take, I would print something like, well, first of all, a business card. If you have a business card, which we all as realtors should have, if you get a business card that is blank on the back, you can write a note and say, hey, I was out in your neighborhood. This is my information. Contact me if you need me. Now, it, they usually say it takes up to three to four times to talk to a, a seller before they give you their property to sell. So I used to go out every week, like probably 30 minutes to an hour, go out every week and do just do different tactics. So one week I'll drop a business card and then the next week I will drop like a newsletter with information and the newsletter would give information about the property so they don't really care like somebody a realtor in my area um she just dropped this door hanger off giving information about herself i don't want to show her name giving information about herself but honestly y'all i don't i don't care who you are like what's going on in my neighborhood like what can you tell me about the property like this is something you can probably give to them on the third contact but for that first contact let me know what's going on in my area let me know what house just sold what's pending how much is it for so these are a few of the things that i would print off um it would give information about the property and then when i sold the pro or let's say i didn't sell a property in the area but somebody in, in my team or somebody my broker did i would say hey my company just sold the property three doors down if you're looking to buy so a lot of new agents they don't have any properties under their belt so you might have to say my company or my broker or my team just sold a property but that's that's a little note that i added at the bottom and you definitely want to have your own printer at home because you're going to have to be printing a lot of these different things. And what I did was I just screenshotted the MLS information and then I typed a message at the bottom and the message is right there. And, and then I would like post um, a business card to the... I would like post a business card to the flyer just like this okay so now they have the information and they have my business card okay and I stock the property I know what's going on in that community so I know what type of newsletters I have to send out to them okay um, so you can write messages um, you can I always say you know do the door hangers like as a third contact don't do the door hangers or the information flyers immediately I still got all of my marketing from when I was a realtor, but um, this is one of my marketing where I would just fold it like this. That's me. This is information about me, but this is something that I would give like on the third contact just so they can put a face, a real face to the name. And sometimes you don't even have to do business cards. Okay. Y'all know we in the, we in this industry where Sometimes they can be a little segregated. So sometimes you don't have to do business cards. Sometimes you don't have to show your face. 
Um, but that is that information as far as how to send information and what to send. Get market updates. You can do a newsletter. You really just got to dominate that area. And also, you can host like community community days. Like my um, my subdivision, um, they did a coffee drive where they were handed out coffees. Y'all know I'm in Atlanta, so they be doing all kind of crazy stuff, stuff that I never seen because I'm from Indianapolis and we we don't really do that kind of stuff. But they be like literally outside with how they market. And it was a realtor, it was a company. They were at the front of my subdivision one morning passing out coffee with their um, logo, their business information. They would just hand you the coffee if you want it and you would go on about your day. It was like kind of like a lemonade stand. It was early in the morning and I thought that was a really, really good um, marketing tactic because, y'all know, we are in the sales industry so however you get your business out there is you know you just really got to take it to that level and a lot of people don't know people who are in real estate or like i said if you're younger you don't know the people you don't know people who are ready to buy property a lot of times their credit isn't where it is so referrals are not always the only option is so many ways to get leads in real estate and definitely take advantage of dominating a market um you can also do like just so properties, properties that just so how much they went for. Now, when we're talking about the scripts, um, do any of you ladies, um, Internet, D'Angela, Shani, do any of you ladies have like any scripts for, you can just put in the comment box if you like have any special scripts that you use or anything. When it comes to um, door knocking, the scripts are really authentic like it's kind of like you're going to a family reunion you know you don't want to be too salesy because you're coming into these people territory so you don't want to sound like you're trying to rush it it's really like a slow lead that eventually turns into a friendship a bond so when you're door knocking when i used to door knock i would just if i did go to the door a lot of times I would just put something on the mailbox or put something um, on the car. But if I did go to the door, and even today, if you go to a door and door knock, they have the doorbell. So sometimes you can talk to the doorbell, like be different. Like you can say, hey, I'm Charmaine. I'm just walking the neighborhood. I'm going to drop this information about this property that we just sold down the street. I'm going to drop it on your door. Call me if you have any questions. You can talk to the doorbell. Um, but just be like very just be yourself like just be yourself you don't really have to give a sales pitch when you're door knocking and i think that's why a lot of people get nervous other than it can be a little dangerous to door knock because you don't really know people but once you start walking the area and you figure out who lives who who lives where and what type of neighborhood it is and you start leaving things like on the mailbox and then you start doing it like repeatedly like I say four times a month. I think you should do it every week. But however your schedule works, they will start recognizing your face and it will be it will become more of a friendship. So that's really it for our 10 minute um, Monday meeting for the realtors. Any questions about the door knocking process or anything you want me to go back over? I am going to save this Zoom and I am going to send it out to the members and everyone. I do not have any, have a script, but I will create one good idea. You're welcome. Yeah, just what do you think of direct mail marketing? So I actually just started a direct mail marketing for my brokerage. Um, so I haven't really done direct mail other than when I used to do um, just sold or just pending. I used to do those all of the time. So when you have a listing that just sold or just pending, you want to make sure you're sending out that to the neighborhood to let them know. Direct marketing, like I still check my mail. I might not check it every day. I probably check it every week and I stand right by the trash can so I can throw it away. But I look at it and if I don't need it, I toss it. So I think direct mail still works. It just depends on what do you have on that flyer. Like, do you know what to put on it to get that person's attention? Someone says, use holidays as your advantage. Halloween is a personal favorite. Everybody's outside on Halloween. You got the kids with you. That could be a great time to get out and network and say, hey, 
Um, I'm a realtor, and if you need any assistance, let me know. Someone says, do you think door knocking isn't safe in this day? I I don't. I mean, I think it still just reminds me of the little boy who was shot in the head for knocking on the wrong door. Um... Well, if you don't feel safe, don't do the neighborhood. Or if you're a type of person, I think maybe they had a vendetta against that kid, honestly. He was black. They judged him way before they knew him, honestly. But put it on the mailbox. We haven't heard of no post office workers getting harmed lately. So put it on a mailbox or drop it on a car or don't knock on the door. Just leave it on the door. It's really up to you and how you feel, what level... A safety do you feel go to a better neighborhood um go to a neighborhood you're comfortable in take a kid with you you know have them take an adult with you like go with somebody but don't let what's going on in society stop you from a seven thousand eight thousand commission check because the people that i that my first door knocking came from they were older they never left the house so if i went and went to their door They wasn't out on social media looking for a realtor. They don't know how to get on the phone and what real estate company to call. So um, it really just depends. I became an agent during the pandemic. So yes, however, I'm creating a script and buying material now to get started in my neighborhood. Yes, if you got a neighborhood and you live in a housing subdivision, that's the perfect opportunity. The perfect opportunity. Postal workers are always targeted. Maybe door knocking ain't for you. Door knocking might not be for you. You can't be too... It's a sales business. You 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 know, it might not be for you. Um, but for the agents who are ready to get out there and door knock, people do it all the time. That's how I got this on my newsletter. That's how I was able to close these deals. So you just really got to set your business up how you want to set your business up. That's why I say independent contracting business. Um, but internet, if you need any help on like how you should market it, how you should do your door knocking, definitely reach out to me. I will definitely be available for you. But that pretty much wraps everything up um, for today. Are you going to be coming to Miami with us, internet? Any more questions on Instagram before? Oh, I forgot to show y'all the rest of my notes. We're just going to remove you for playing devil's advocate. Yes, I will to get more deals. I'm trying to come to Miami. Okay, it's going to be June the 3rd is the shoot. So if you can, if not, oh yeah, my son in AAU, he's going to be in North Carolina that week. I'm not going to be able to go. But, um, yep, let me know. And I will see you on, um, I'll see you guys all on social media. And next Monday, we have our class. If you missed the Mother's Day event yesterday or the Mother's Day class yesterday, um, I will be doing the Mother's Day class, running it back again tomorrow at 8 p.m. So, if you would like to join the Mother's Day class and you missed it, you definitely can come on. We would love to have you. Until next time, you guys. See you later.